I always want to have, when I go to bed, to uh, lie uh, comfortable, realizing that my money is doing good and not collecting anything haram. No, I never took any loan from anybody else. I never even no, no, never applied any loan from anybody else. And if the Lariba was not there, probably I would not have taken any loans. Now that we've been married for two and a half years and we're getting our first house together, Inshallah, the next step will be for us to start a family. The, the, the most important thing for us was to get our home mortgage loan riba free. And the fact that Bank of Whittier is now opened up in Richardson, Texas as well, uh, allowed us to have that option available to us. I believe it was a good deal. Um, we we kind of compared going the other route versus riba free And it seemed just to make sense, um, Islamically and economically. And it, was, it just seemed like it was the right thing to do and it worked out for us. So the idea was to have an institution, a financial institution, that is run by qualified professionals who love Almighty God, who live by His disciplines revealed in the Holy Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam, who also have a goal of uh, providing an investment service for those who have the money and using it to invest it in businesses, in Islamic centers, in schools. All of the major religions of the world teach and preach, if you will, against paying or earning interest. In the Hebrew scriptures, you find an interesting statement there, uh, I think it's in the Leviticus, that uh, addresses the Israelites that you should not lend to your brother with interest, with riba. When you're asking what is the Jewish understanding of rebeat, then you really have to look at not only the biblical, but the rabbinic understanding of rebeat. And for the rabbis, uh, these laws would apply uh, to, in, in the relationship of Jews to non-Jews just as much as it applies in the relationship of Jews to Jews. Riba, in Islam we believe, is haram and it must be avoided. R stands for many things. R stands for rebeat, which is the meaning of renting money in Judaism and Christianity. And it stands for riba, which is also means the renting of money in the Islamic faith. So to make it a real Judeo-Christian Islamic discipline, we call it the RF financing. We also use it uh, as a wonderful description of what we do, and that is responsible financing. We are socially responsible, we are morally responsible, and we are ethically responsible before the community and before the highest of all authorities, Almighty God. To me, this is the challenges taken by Lariba and Finance uh, Whittier Bank, paving the way up, little by little, little by little, and establishing the more Islamic finance, Islamic banking. We have to make it more and more relevant to the humanity in general. We stop thinking it about it as a Muslim industry. By the Muslims, for the Muslims, no, no, no. It may be by the Muslims, but it is for everyone. But we've been participating in many, many uh, activities, uh, financing Islamic schools around the country, financing churches, financing Islamic centers, we have also financed two waqf or endowment projects in downtown Singapore. Uh, we've been working together 
with the founders of Turkiya Finance that was going belly up for the second time and we prevented that from happening. We have started a bank in Kazakhstan and we offered mortgage financing, Riba Freeway, for the first time in the history of Kazakhstan. We have uh, two books published on the system. RF banking is a unique responsible form of banking. Uh, RF stands for Riba or Ribbit Free and of course it is a banking that is not based on the concept of renting of money. RF banking is a faith-based, uh, socially responsible uh, community banking. Uh, it promotes uh, deception-free transactions and horror-free transactions. It's not dealing with any um, forbidden like alcohol or weapons or um, gambling. The goal of our banking is to have an interest-free lifestyle that people from all faiths can live and adopt. We invest into the community, uh, we give back to the community. We are well trained to see we are responsible for the community to grow. We are the community, we build the community, we are members of the community, um, whether it's the Muslim community or just the community in general, the community at large. Anyone who is interested in riba free financing is of course welcome and we encourage it. Our customers are not only Muslim customers uh, or even Arab customers, it's definitely a, a mix of, of Americans. If we were to discriminate against any person coming in, that would be against our faith and our regulations that we're supposed to be following. Not being a member of the Muslim community, um, it take, took me a while to understand that it, 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 it's a, uh, a way of developing uh, a payment that starts based on the market rent of the property. I'm Ralph Jenny. I'm the Parish Council President here at St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Whittier, California. Approximately eight years ago, we were given the opportunity to purchase the neighboring piece of property. It was very refreshing to talk with the Bank of Whittier because they were supportive and very interested in uh, talking to us and arranging financing. You know, they, they believe that they will truly be rewarded for helping others. We take interest in our customer, but we do not take interest. We treat cu customers with responsibility in that we don't try to take advantage of them or try to deceive them in any way. We look at every transaction as an investment transaction. We look at that customer as our family, and we're going to share with our family members profits that the bank make. Every deal that we do, uh, we want to make sure that you know um, it makes economic sense, and it's also make uh, prudent sense for us and also for the customer to be invested in, uh, to minimize the losses. The lender is not supposed to take advantage of the customer. The lender is supposed to uh, enter into an arrangement with the customer that's beneficial to the customer. There's no renting of money where we uh, where we hide interest charges under the name of, of, of rent. Lariba is a, a different product. Uh, to me, you know, it was uh, a different concept, a different uh, uh, ways of meeting the need of the people by uh, staying and promoting a uh, certain values, what the people believe in. We have to have uh, that type of uh, institution to help us uh, financially, where we can be uh, stronger as a Muslim uh, community. I have been working with Lariba for some time now. I, my, my own house is financed through Lariba. The professionalism that has been shown by uh, Bank of Whittier has been great. They worked very closely, very tirelessly and had the approvals in our hands in a matter of weeks. So there was, uh, that was the most efficient part of how they processed all of this. The issue with um, uh, owning a home with Lariba is you're paying part rent and that rent is basically what is the profit um, generated for Lariba um, and that is not extra that you're paying back you're paying back the principal plus rent. We are the only finance company we're the only bank in the whole world that goes and measures how much would this house rent for how much would this car rent for? And based on the rent, we calculate the profitability of the prudent investment. And if it is profitable, we invest with you. If it is not profitable, we do not invest with you. So in that respect, probably we are unique. There is probably no other 
lending institution who would tell the borrower that it's better for you to rent it rather than to buy it. And that discipline we used consistently at La Riba over the last 20 years to detect economic bubbles that actually detected for us that a number of markets in the United States suffer from overpriced homes and we should be careful and we have saved many members of the community from buying homes in inflated markets. The traditional American banks like Chase and Wells Fargo, they determine their loan based on interest rate. But RF banking, rather than interest rate, we use rental and lease value of the subject property. There, there, there are a lot of similarities, but the main differences are, number one, the uh, RF banker uses the investment approach to analyzing whether the transaction makes economic sense or not as opposed to simply renting of the money approach which focuses on can I get pay paid back. The, uh, the uh, second difference is the way the rate of return is set, an RF banker would mark it to the market whereas a traditional banker looks at it from what is our cost of funds and what, what spread do we need to earn over the cost of funds. The third difference, and, and it's probably one of the most important, is the relationship between the two entities, between the bank and the customer, and applies the socially responsible principles of helping the customer get out of trouble should they, should they get into it. We will negotiate on behalf of the customer whether or not to get an appraisal fee, title fee, or anything to try to you know, minimize the cost for the customer. We are looking for some type of finance, and uh, went to big banks and asked financing uh, for this store. Uh, unfortunately, they, they, they cannot give us the loan. Finally, we got Bank of Media. They are very good at, with the customer service and they help us to get a loan and to franchise the store. We really help people. I've had um, customers, doctors who, who, who are making enough money to have to afford good houses but who have been renting for years because they didn't want to you know, get involved in interest. What gives us pleasure is to be able to uh, serve people like this. Lariba uh, and similar institutions have come in and uh, they have provided this facility for us uh, to make things easy for us and facilitate easy home ownership. We treat our customer as a part of our family. Uh, we have somebody to serve them 24-7 if they have a question. It, it's nice that you don't call an 800 number and you can't talk to the same person twice. The type of employees that work here are primarily, you know, fresh out of college, um, young people who are willing to learn. This is like another school for me. I've never been really a, a more social person, and I, used, I always had this mumbling problem. But since I started working at the bank, my social skills have really gotten better. So I come here because I know that I'm making a good difference in people's lives like I feel good about the work that I do here. I bring sometimes my daughters they are working for volunteer work or they are helping here for in the summertime they love my work very much they said this is very good community. Well we started this thing like three years ago and it's very successful. I'm opening the third store in the next two months. My background is a Muslim you know and then we try not to pay interest my ex bank experience is this uh, compared to the other bank is, uh, is um, they are easy going. Every time I, I have any question, any, any related to anything like a loan or anything, they are always very helpful. Once you enter in the Lariba RF financing, means you are entering into the family. The atmosphere is definitely different from, from other banks. As we look around the bank, we don't have a standing tellers, we have sit down tellers. We, it is very important the ethics that we treat our customer like a part of our business. I jumped at the opportunity to uh, transfer my banking from my previous city to uh, the Bank of Whittier. The, one of the things I like best about uh, the Bank of Whittier is uh, actually their ATM machine is very modern and, uh, so, and it's very convenient for me. We want that customer to feel comfortable, uh, but we also want them to feel secure that they're leaving their money with someone that uh, can take care of their investment, can take care of their, their uh, deposits in a safe manner. Uh, being a part of the, the FDIC and the Federal Reserve System, we meet all of those requirements. Well, actually, we were one of the very first finance companies in the United States to use the Internet 
and we had a website called lariba.com and this website has actually attracted over a million visitors in 10 years. The online banking platform for the bank is it's very modern. We've just upgraded the uh, bill pay side of it. It's more efficient. I know when I will deposit my money with the Bank of Whittier, they will not invest this money into any haram, any, any business that is prohibited by our religion of Islam. And immediately I supported the bank. I opened an account. Service is very uh, excellent. Again, it was very personal. They call you, they email you, they, um, uh, they're up to task and immediate responses. So there's no delay whatsoever. The way we deal with people, the way we deal with their finances, uh, the way we keep our records, the way we keep our books, ethics are at the top of the list. In the final analysis, people will ask you, what is the added value? What's different about what you do? It's not a matter of names. It's not a matter of claims. It's a matter of what have you done for me lately? We always do look to the benefit of that client, not the benefit of the companies. So we have to put ourselves in their position to understand what their problems, to listen to their issues, and to see how, what we can do to help them. We want to be very specific as to the real added value of what you do, serving the community, holding the hands of the people, and most importantly, touching the hearts and the minds and the pockets of those who need to be touched.